Welcome to the Evangelism Podcast. I'm Daniel King, and I'm excited about telling people about Jesus. Today, I have a very special guest with me, Prophet Serafel from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Thank you so much for being on the Evangelism Podcast. I'm so happy to meet you, Pastor. Oh, it's so good to be here with you. We have just landed here in Addis Ababa. We are here for a great gospel crusade in Kemba, yes. Ethiopia. And uh, I've come here to the nation many times. Uh, this will be my 10th crusade, I believe, in the nation of Ethiopia. Wow. And uh, I'm here at the invitation of Per Ockfist in the Joshua campaign. They've done many crusades across Ethiopia, and he's a good friend of yours. Yes. And, and so we, we got together, we, we ate dinner tonight, yeah. and you were telling me some about what God is doing here in Ethiopia. Brother, tell me, what is God doing in this nation? Hallelujah. I thank God about you, Pastor, and your ministry. For the last uh, 10 uh, years, maybe more than that, you had a conference here in Ethiopia. Uh, what you are seeing here in physical and spiritual change, you have an effort, you have a foot, I mean, a handprint on this uh, blessing. So as, as a pastor, Ethiopian pastor, as a nation, I have to say thank you first about your work and your ministry uh, in Ethiopia. And so many souls, new souls, come to Jesus. You win a lot of uh, new souls. Um, uh, so many people get healed, delivered. So it's a great thing, you know, introducing peop uh, Jesus to the people of Ethiopia. So on behalf of Ethiopia, we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Let me come to the, the question. Uh, what we are seeing here in to all the world, uh, what God is doing and the Holy Spirit is doing, it shows that our King, Jesus Christ, is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, we are the servants. We are the, the missionaries of the last age, the last days. So... Uh, Gospel in Ethiopia is, uh, is uh, burning and is uh, dominating the country. So our government, our prime minister, uh, all the government of shall become G uh, followers of Jesus Christ. They, are, they become believers. So uh, it implies that uh, gospel is uh, doing great here in Ethiopia and changes so many lives. Now, you have a multifaceted ministry here. You have a church in Owasa. Mm -hmm. You have built a beautiful church building here in Addis Ababa. Thank you. And you also have a television ministry called Presence. Yes. And referring to the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And so a few moments ago when we prayed together in your auditorium, I was praying that God would fill the place with His presence. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that was the name of your TV channel, mm -hmm. but it goes 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you have become very well known here in Ethiopia. When people hear that mm -hmm. you are coming, many come to, to hear the word of the Lord. And so God has raised you up yeah. as a prophet. But you really started your ministry just by putting some videos up on YouTube. Yes. And you were telling me that you went into a internet cafe mm -hmm. back before there was internet available all over the place you just went into an internet cafe and how did you start your youtube channel thank you for asking me uh, my humble beginning yeah i appreciate uh, you know ten, 10 years ago i was graduating from university of addis ababa uh, when i was in the in the university i was a christian students fellowship leader uh, I, I used to serve in the fellowship then God called me to serve him. So I didn't go to any office or I didn't find any job, but I was praying and fasting two years. Then God showed me a, a vision. The vision was like, I saw in the dream, I saw a big uh, stadium and full of uh, people and uh, the people who were in the stadium, they were crying and uh, worshiping God and they were watching a video. So I was eager to see that video and when I closed on the video and when I saw the preacher, that was me. 
Wow, so God gave you a vision of your future ministry. Yes. So I saw a dream about my ministry before I start my ministry. Then I go, only when I wake up from the bed, I prayed and I go to straight to the internet cafe and ask them to open me a YouTube account. Then they open me, they sign me to a YouTube account and they give me the password. Then uh, I was a singer, so I had a songs. Then I upload on the YouTube some of my songs and people were so blessed and they ask me more and more. Then I start to uh, upload my old sermons, my preaching, my songs. Then after it become uh, like boom. So uh, now we have uh, like 340, 316,000 uh, uh, subscribers on TV and 100 million views on YouTube. So my humble beginning is like this. I like you say, boom, <laughs> God made it happen. Yes. And Hallelujah. I think that is so beautiful because you were willing to serve the Lord, looking yes. for any way that you could serve. Mm -hmm. And you just go open a YouTube mm -hmm. channel. They mm -hmm. give you the password. Mm -hmm. And now over 314,000 subscribers, over 100 million views, people all over the world, the, the Ethiopian uh, diaspora, diaspora yes. who are all over the world are, are watching and hearing the, the word of the Lord yes. on the YouTube channel. And I was watching one of the videos of one of the, the crusades that you did in Hosanna. Yes. And it looked like there were thousands of people there. What did God do? Yeah, Hosanna is the, the more Christian dominating country, which is in southern part of Ethiopia. So uh, God in the midnight, he spoke to me about Hosanna. Go to Hosanna. Because I have history in Hosanna. That's not my birthplace or that's not the, my, I was raised. But uh, one time, like seven years ago, I went to Hosanna for singing. And at that night, I was praying, God, use me or kill me. Because I was so give up on ministry. I started my ministry, but the ministry was w not going like what I was expecting. So I cried all the night and I said, make it or break it, kill me or use me. Then I slept when I woke up uh, from my bed, I, I prayed and I, I go to the, the crusade in Hosanna. Uh, I was invited. So when I start to sing, God opens my spiritual eyes and ears and I saw so many visions then after after that day onwards I became like a prophet prophetic ministry starts in my life you know so I have to pay back for God I, will, I want to thank God in that place so the Spirit of God told me go to Hosanna and thank me then when I go to Hosanna maybe one million people was gathered so many miracles happened so wow. many people get saved, the Muslims, the Orthodox. So this was the history and so powerful conference. It's so amazing what God is doing here in Ethiopia. God is raising this church up and I believe that uh, God is making you a voice, not just to Ethiopia, not just to Africa, but to the whole world. And so you serve God as a pastor. I think you have also been used by God as an evangelist, but uh, God has given you this gift as a prophet. Mm -hmm. What is the word of the Lord for the body of Christ today? Mm -hmm. what, what is God speaking to you as a prophet? About this? Ab about what he wants to do in the world during mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Hallelujah. Our King, we'll see him soon and very soon. So um, I know you are a true prophet because that is what God is saying. Jesus is coming soon. He says, Behold, I come quickly. Hallelujah. So Jesus is edifying the church, his bride. Mm. So we are uh, the, like hand, leg, eye, and ear for Jesus. So uh, on, in the, on the last days, Jesus wants to use us by his mighty power. You know, uh, for the sake of gospel, God do not uh, restrict his, his power. You know, he will release uh, whatever he has because this is the last time. So the last calling, the last message is preaching now. 
So God is uh, speaking and working uh, in these days mightily. So, uh, so many people is coming to Jesus. We see so many uh, revivals in a world like Asbury uh, University, like, you know, in a different corner of the world. So Jesus is coming soon. We are preaching that. So we expect so many lives. Amen. Jesus. I believe that is right on mm -hmm. with what God is saying. Jesus yeah. is coming soon. Yes. And we need to make every single second count for God. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, brother, for being on the Evangelism Podcast. Uh, if someone is looking for your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. how do they find it? What is your name on the YouTube channel? Uh, Presence TV Channel Worldwide. Presence TV Channel Worldwide. So yeah. I encourage you, go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You. Receive a blessing from the man of God. And brother, could we finish today by asking you to pray for those who are watching? Yes. But don't pray in English. I want you to pray in Amaharic. And just pray a blessing Amen. over those who are watching that God will bless them. Amen. Ziyabi heri baraka chu, ziyabi heri tabka chu, ziyabi heri fitu ni abra la chu, salamu ni sta chu, yirara la chu. Bageta abe Jesus Christos sim bezi screen ni metayu. Kwan kwan ni mata kwan kwan betnoru. Bageta abe Jesus sim yek ziyabi heri meleko thawi hail ka kwan kwan na ka bahel belai no na. Ba Jesus Christos sim ba la chu bet yek ziyabi heri hail idasa chu. Yek ziyabir man fasida sachu, kivru yin kachu, sagaw yin kachu, tari kachu le zalaram takayiro yikar, ba yesu sam, amen. Amen. Thank you, brother, for being on the Evangelism Podcast. Thank you for giving me this chance. God bless you. God bless you. Daniel King is on a mission to save one million souls a year, but he can't do it alone. Would you consider sowing a financial seed today? To give, please visit www.kingministries.com.